Hi guys, I just wanted to show you my pelican that I did for outside. That's um, done with Mako under glazes and then I went over it with an overglaze and baked it again in my kiln. This is my frog that I've been working on. When you're using underglazes, it takes three coats. Like I used a a golden yellow, a green olive, and the cottage brown for the tree stump. Here's another one I did exactly like it, but I'll show you what I did with the tree stump. I painted it solid, of course. But then I took a damp rag and I wiped the layers of color off so that it would look a little bit, you know, more natural looking. And it gives the shading effect. Now see here I dabbed over it with, I used a, a myrtle green. So if I wipe this down, It kind of gives the effect of some um, moss that grew on the rock. I'll have to touch it up a little bit better than what it is. So the next step I'll do is I'll take my overglaze and it takes three coats of that. Of course after I bake him as he is I have to put him in the kiln again. And then I do the the overglaze and then I put him in the kiln again and then he'll turn out shiny glass look like the penguin is that's outside. Okay I'll show you what he looks like after I put him in the kiln but here's uh, the doll head that I did on the last video. I decided to cut the top of the head and then I'm going to glaze it inside. And on this one, I think I'll do a crackle glaze. I like doing the crackle glaze because it, it makes them look antique, kind of old looking, and kind of creepy. Okay, there she is. I found it. So there's the candlestick that I made. Um, but another idea. That would be kind of neat is if you um, made it out of like a lamp and put an electrical cord opening or you could even run it through one of the star holes here and then just at the top I would have to cut that out to make your your light come through the top So I think she'll look pretty cool for around Halloween time. You can even cut the eyes out, <clears throat> put in a colored light like an orange blinker bulb would be nice. Uh, here's another neat mold that I picked up. The moon in the clouds. And he comes off if you want to take him off or or glue them on if you want them in all one piece. But this one would be really pretty too if you put some holes in it and added some lights. Like um, I've seen the little tiny rice lights or fairy lights. I also came across this little fairy that I think she looks really cute on the base, the moon base which is clouds. So yeah, you can mix and match 
your pieces they don't have to all come from one company just make your own and there's the back side of her I think she's really cute yeah bases can be used for all kinds of things this Halloween fairy witch looks really cute on it so that's just to give you a couple ideas so I just started doing YouTube videos so look me up on Cindy Seaside Ceramics on Facebook and I sell bisque or greenware I also make custom orders for people and I ship all throughout the United States so if you're looking for something just send me a message and I'll try to find it if I don't have it so till next week have a good week